things online right now about how AI is completely taking over the world. So in this video, we're gonna talk exactly about how you can use AI to your advantage and how I've even been able to make tens of millions of dollars online just solely by using AI. We're gonna dive into a bunch of different tools, a bunch of different ways that you could be leveraging AI to get ahead of the curve learn the necessary information to be a millionaire, become rich, and actually live the life of your dreams without any financial limitations. So if you don't wanna get left behind in this AI revolution, I want you to watch this video, pay close attention, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. And let's jump right into how you could be using AI to set yourself financially free. Tuesday, what's going on? Hope everyone's having an awesome week. Happy New Year, if if someone hasn't told you yet. But I uh, hope everyone's having an awesome week. And uh, today we're going to cover some awesome stuff, more so about business and investing. Um, I love talking about funding as a topic. We'll tie funding into it as well. Um, but today we're going to talk a lot about how to use AI to make passive income. So if you're excited to hear about the topic, just drop the word AI in the chat. That Those are my initials, Andrew and Bessie. Just drop AI in the chat um, so that way i can see that you are pumped and hyped up to talk about how to make money using ai for passive income so awesome we got a ton of people dropping ai in the chat dang you guys are like right on top of it ready to get rolling with it this is exciting um so really quick intro into who i am right maybe you've seen my youtube ad maybe you've seen instagram shout out maybe you've seen something that of Andrew and Bessie on the internet talking about how you could get 50 to over $150,000 of 0% interest business credit to fund any business or investment that you want. That's how I've personally built um, eight figure companies um, that last year in 2023, I made over $15 million amongst all my companies. Um, already getting a nice start to January with those same companies. And it all started using 0% interest credit. So I literally had like $20,000 of available credit and like $5,000 in my bank account when I got started um, in business. Well, at least with my first successful business, like the first time I used 0% interest funding, I had $500 in my bank account. And um, yeah, I had to make do with $500 in my bank account and I had 0% interest credit and it allowed me to buy into opportunities um, so that I could actually learn some skills and make some money. And so over the past three years, I've definitely, you know, over the internet, I've collected over $20 million through the internet. So um, here we are. So now we get to talk about really fun, interesting topics every Tuesday night. If you're someone who has like a 700 plus credit score and you're actually interested in getting funding for any business or investment that you want, we're going to talk about so many ways to make business work tonight. That's probably one of the top questions that we get inside of our funding program is now I got all this money, like what do I really do with it? So we're going to talk a lot about that tonight. But if you're someone who's interested in getting funding for any business or investment that you want at any time during this webinar, you could just drop your phone number um, and alongside your credit score in the chat. Um, just simply like your phone number and your credit score. Only my team will see it. So it's not going to go out to like everyone in the chat. It'll just go directly to our team. But if at any time you're interested in getting funding for any business or investment or you like what you hear, um, and maybe you have some extra questions, just drop inside the chat your phone number and your credit score. But with that said, um, I want to jump right into it. And so I could talk about tons and tons and tons and tons of AI tools um, that we could ultimately use to make passive income. But one of the big things that we run into is just people are looking for more of a general understanding of you know how business works and um, things of that nature, right? So um, real quick, just because so, someone had a quick question before we jump into it, is there a difference between 0% interest credit and 0% interest funding? So they, it's basically the same thing. When I talk about 0% interest funding, I mean, let's ask chat GBT, what is 0% interest funding?
All right, there we go. Um, there you go. So, and this is all true. Honestly, this is pretty accurate. <laughs> I see billboards right now with auto loans, like I think it's like Hyundai or Nissan or something like that. They're trying to offer 0% um, financing on you know getting a new vehicle. But when we're talking about 0% interest funding, um, we're talking mostly about credit cards. Many credit card companies offer introductory periods with 0% APR on purchases for a certain number of months. This is often a promotional offer to entice the new card holders. So that's what 0% interest funding is. And that's what I'm really like referring to um, when I talk about 0% interest funding. So guys, I want to know um, because I get, you know, we're, I want to talk about a lot of different industries. I want to talk about a lot of different ways to make money. Uh, we just had our first Yacht Mastermind this weekend with a couple of lucky people who got to come. And um we really were able to break down some solid business plans for those people. One person was in insurance um, and another person was in um, uh, like the cleaning business. So for everyone here, like I'm curious, just drop in the chat. So that way we could kind of get the ball rolling on how we're going to use AI to make passive income. Um, go ahead and just drop in the chat. Like, what are some industries that you guys are interested in making money inside of? Like, are you interested in real estate, trading? Once we get a lot of responses in the chat, we'll pick the one that people had talked about the most. Someone said mobile apps, AI generating, bots, Forex, real estate, real estate, vacation rentals. Okay, cool. So we got a lot of different responses in here. Video games, AI generating, affiliate marketing, real estate, crypto, AI, e-com, trading, real estate, trucking, e-commerce, crypto. Sweet. My own business. Good. Um, real estate. Cool. So it looks like, so we got, we got, we got a bunch. So it looks like the big ones right now that everyone kind of jumped at was um, real estate and, um, and uh, crypto or Forex or trading. So let's definitely knock out those first. People are saying trading, people are saying real estate. So let's, um, I saw a lot of real estate. So let's knock out the real estate one. So, right, like, I mean, even just to kind of start, how to make money with, how do I make money with real estate? A lot about making money with AI is like, you know, you gotta kind of gain the business savvy first to really ask the right questions, right? And so obviously, as I'm talking here, there's tons of ways to make money with real estate, right? And um, like whether it's through appreciation, whether it's through rental income, whether it's through real estate development, flipping properties, um, wholesaling, short-term rentals. Um, guys, if we had to narrow down on like one or two of these, um, which is like really the the method of real estate that you would say you're the most interested in? Are you looking to buy like a duplex and rent it out? Um, do you want to get involved in wholesaling? Uh, do you want to get involved with uh, like rental income? Do you want to flip properties? Do you want to do Airbnb? Do you want to do Section Eight? What? Let me know in the chat. Like, what kind of real estate are you most interested in? Wholesaling multifamily, Airbnb, wholesaling. Dang, we got a lot of people interested in wholesaling here. Okay, cool. Flipping properties, section eight, short-term rentals, wholesale. Okay, so it looks like a lot of people are talking about wholesaling properties. So wholesaling, right? Wholesaling is real estate. Wholesaling involves finding properties at below market price and quickly selling them to other investors without making significant improvements. Wholesalers make money through the price difference between the purchase and the sale. All right, perfect, cool. So now we have you know a lot of understanding of how wholesaling actually works. I think most people who know about wholesaling really understand that, right? So in terms of wholesaling, right? Because there's a bunch of things that go into this, right? So how... 
what kind of properties Where can I find the low market pricing for properties? Where can I find investors? Um, what location are they in? What skills do I need to learn to be great at wholesaling? So dang, okay, cool. So they're really giving us a lot of, someone said wholesaling is a lot of work. Yeah, wholesaling could definitely be a lot of work to uh, make, you know, 10, 20, 30, $40,000, right? But, um, you know, once you find a routine for anything um, and you write it down, you can start handing it off to other people to do the wholesaling for you um, in some way, right? So now we have ways to, you know, ultimately find below my market pricing for, properties, right? You know, networking being one of those ways, online platforms, right? How to find investors, right? Okay, where can I go and find real estate clubs, right? Um, location of investors, right? Um, skills needed, right? Now, these are obviously really important, right? In terms of um, negotiation skills, sales skills, communication skills, um, contract and legal knowledge, Um you know, all of that different stuff, right? So now we're starting to kind of put the pieces together to start making money with wholesaling, right? Um, someone's mentioning, how can we find research county records possibly? Yeah, that would definitely be a way to find properties, right? So we're kind of starting to put it all together, right? So we're starting to find ways to, we're getting the information that ultimately we could pay $10,000 for, and we're getting it for free just by asking questions to chat GBT. Right. So if we kind of go deeper into this wholesaling aspect, well, what is the step by step process from beginning to end for wholesaling a property? Okay. See, now we're not getting necessary. We're, we're, yeah, we're kind of getting. Okay. There we go. In the beginning, it was. Um, Actually, I mean, they're getting really detailed. First, educate yourself, build your team, define your criteria, marketing and lead generation to find the properties, analyze the deals, make sure they're good deals, negotiate with sellers, build a buyer's list, market the deal, assign the contract, coordinate the title company, close the deal, collect your fee, evaluate and learn. I mean, dang, you could pay like $10,000 to learn this or you could pay, do it for free on chat GBT and start doing it right now some other really important things too right like um what is a great communication framework for sales when talking to sellers and buyers There we go, right? So overall, right? I mean, these this is kind of um yeah, I mean, ultimately really covering everything in terms of if someone wanted to take all this information that we're pulling together for wholesaling, I mean, you could really go out there and do it without needing a mentor, right? And um, and honestly, even in this example, right, you might not even need really all that much 0% interest funding unless you want to pay people up front to, you know, send you really hot leads or introduce you to some networks, right? Like you could use 0% interest funding in a number of different ways, right? Maybe if we scroll up here, um, you have to pay to be in a real estate club, right? That may be worth it, right? You could use 0% interest funding to buy into a real estate club, right? Um, maybe you could pay for um, marketing campaigns to, you know, promote like to like, you know, buy leads or, you know, sell, you know, or like um, use direct marketing to sell to your investors.
So one thing I did notice in here, guys, too, for anyone who's interested in wholesaling, and guys, don't worry, this is being recorded. And obviously, you could copy the same questions that I'm throwing in here in the order in which I'm throwing them in here. Because right here is just like a whole like $10,000 program right now, right? So, you know, almost no excuse to not make money when you have some a tool like this at your disposal and you can ask it the right questions, right? So um, I noticed, however, in a lot of these, they don't really talk about um, like a go button, some kind of thing that, you know, pushes them to actually do something, right? You know, obviously ask open-ended questions to understand the seller's motivation for selling. Eventually you'll want to use that again later on in the sales to potentially push them to, you know, sell to you and, you know, basically um, put together the deal, right? But really step-by-step, step, you ultimately have, you know, hey, this is how I do a property. This is how I wholesale a property, right? So we've talked about wholesaling for a while. So far, guys, what do you think about, you know, using chat GBT to um, make some money with um, different businesses or investments? Because we'll jump into um, foreign exchange as well in trading, right? So you know what? Here we go. Here's a good one. How do I find top 1% traders? Well, here we go, right? Because I think a lot of the time, there's a lot of people who are interested in getting into trading. Um, let's see. I see a lot of people talk about how this is a nice tool. Cool. Awesome. So I see a lot of people, right? Where even myself, right? We see ads, to get involved in trading, right? It's like, hey, buy my trading coaching program. Hey, you know, this, that, and the other, right? Well, you know, while that is a great idea and some of these people who are selling that program, you know, can actually help, you know, a lot of what you could also do is go and hang out where top 1% traders hang out, right? And I'll even maybe, you know, identify myself as well. We'll get back into that thread, right? How do I find eight figure business owners to learn from even besides just like YouTube ads. Let's just be real industry events. And yep. I go there. I'm in networking groups. I buy mentorship programs. I'm on online platforms. Um, I'm constantly attending podcasts and webinars. Yeah. I mean, I hang out in all these places. <laughs> so just to kind of cover that for a sec, but Okay, cool. So, right. So maybe if we're interested in getting into trading, but have no idea where to start, but know it's something that you want to do, or maybe you're looking for someone to manage your capital, right? And they're already good at trading. And then you could just really get a piece of the pie. Well, where can I find top 1% traders, right? Who can teach me? Who can help me, right? As opposed to maybe just the first thing that you see online, right? Well, you know, obviously there are social trading platforms, there's online trading communities. Um, you could check out some blogs, right? Track record and performance, right? Obviously look for that hedge funds and institutional investors. Okay, cool. So what are some online trading communities, social trading platforms, and um, that... I can join. Please give me 20 options. Like that way we get a ton. All right. Some of these are not like the best. Another place, guys, I really like, and you guys probably have heard me say this before. Um, and maybe some of you guys know this a little, some of these places a little bit more than me. Um, I'm not like 100% invested into it, but probably some Discord communities as well as some Facebook group communities, right? To find like some social platforms where you could connect with other top 1% traders who are making money, right? And whether they could manage your capital and you could simply get in communication with those people or um, 
besides just, you know, reaching out to them and having them trade capital for you, maybe you could learn from them. So I think you guys are starting to get the point here. We're just we're just kind of asking chat GBT, right? The right questions to help us make passive income, active income, number of different ways, right? Um, obviously, you know, funding can help with all of this. Maybe you're interested in trading, but need some money to put into a trading account. You know, we get a lot of people who, you know, sign up for our program who are interested in that. Um, obviously, if that's something that you're interested in, you could drop your phone number in the chat along with your credit score. We could see if it's a good fit. But in terms of like finding ways to make money, um, ChatGBT is obviously a great tool um, that we can use to ultimately, you know, like kind of put the pieces together so that way we aren't going in completely lost. So someone's saying... So, so someone's asking a little bit about the options that we have. So, I mean, we we pretty much, I would say, have something for everyone. Um, but a lot of it, I like to help people think creatively about the different things that are possible. Like, um, you know, on, there are millions of ways to make money. I think people have some trouble kind of putting the pieces together. Like, you know, for example, what are the components of an eight figure business. Damn, that really, okay. So as you kind of see, like, you know, I'm throwing in questions so I can gain a greater understanding about how business works, how investing works, right? I can use this tool because sure, you could use Google, right? The cool thing about ChatGBT is that it can build upon the last answer that you gave it. It kind of looks back and really gives you like the actual step-by-step -step right in front of you on like how to do something. Right. Cool. So we have a lot of really good questions here in the chat. Now I'm going to get through all of these actually. Um, so, but in terms of op, we have like tons of options that, you know, we wouldn't, we would only refer someone to something that's already working for someone else. So that, that's like a big key. So, so someone's asking me a question. Um, how about ongoing cash flowing online businesses? I think right here, like the kind of chain of questions I asked here kind of cover a little bit how to use AI to make, you know, money with a cash flowing online business. You know, also what skills do I need for blank business? You know, how do I develop those skills, right? I get a lot of people right now asking me e-commerce. So yeah, it's kind of telling you all the components of a business. You know, you could ask, where do I go and find chat agents? Where do I go and find
Right. It's just asking questions to really kind of figure out, you know, how I can ultimately, you know, find some, some quality people. Andrew, can you recommend any good marketing company that can grow an e-commerce hair care brand? So there's a couple of people I know in e-commerce, but um, I think developing the skills can be very, very important for you. Um, using ChatGPT, right, is like, you know, how, what would my, you know, what are good um, percentage budgets for an e-commerce store, what should my profit margin be? How much should I spend on each category as I scale? My product is a hair care product. There we go. So it kind of added up all these things, right? You're going to want to put like a lot of these things on a on a on a spreadsheet and kind of figure out for you, you know, what percentages of each, you know, should cover like, you know, different aspects of your business. Right. Like how much should I spend on website development and maintenance? You know, what should the product cost and how much should my my goods cost? How much should my marketing be? How much should like my payroll or my customer service be? You know, how much should I be spending on my technology and tools? How do I account for refunds? Right. And going based off of this, these are like main components of the business. And then you could kind of dive into each thing one by one. You know, um, what would be like a good funnel for my Facebook ads or something like that, or my Google ads? How would I run Google ads? Um, you know, how do I find customer service people? How do I, you know, handle refunds and returns? Should I hire someone for this? Um, and so forth. So we have like a lot of uh, people messaging. Someone's saying, so ChatGPT is much more in depth. Absolutely. Cool. So I'm going to take a small break from the ChatGPT because we have a couple of funding questions. So can you finance people with bad credit? Um, it's a little tough. First, we would suggest um, like getting some credit repair first to just clean up any items um, such as late payments or derogatory marks. If someone is just solely being held back by credit card debt and that's the only thing that's bringing their credit score down, that is someone we could still help get funding for. You could just drop your phone number and your credit score in the chat if that's you. And we can um, and put like the initials BL like next to it. And uh, we could explain how even if you have maxed out cards, how you can still get um, credit by getting like a private money loan temporarily. Um, but with bad credit, you know, the banks are typically going to say no. So someone said, what made you get into what you do right now? So, yeah. So, you know, I've always wanted to have like my own business or I've always wanted to just be independent. Like I didn't know how, but I just knew I didn't want to work for someone else and I wanted to have my own business. So, you know, I had like a couple instances where, you know, I was buying programs online and I knew nothing about business to what I know about today. Chat GBT wasn't a tool that I can use. And I got into um doing what i do now because i was buying programs i ran out of money and then i found a program i knew was going to work for me but you know it required me to put down like fifteen thousand dollars and i was like well i don't have fifteen thousand dollars so 
someone had helped me get 0% interest credit cards to fund that opportunity. I did that opportunity and I succeeded at it. And um, while I was doing you know, sales for someone else's company, um, after I had done 0% interest funding for myself, um, I started helping other people get 0% interest credit cards so they could fund different programs themselves. And eventually it just became like the thing that I was doing. And then I saw like other people running similar types of businesses to just solely funding. I said, that's something I want to do. I'm already doing it for other people. So I'm going to go out and do it myself. So then I started to go out and do it by myself. And now here we are. That's kind of how I got into funding. That's like a short version of the story. But what excites me about doing what I do every day is because I feel like I'm actually helping people by getting them funding so they could fund any business or investment that they want, that they could change their financial situation um, as a result of my product of getting people funding for any business or investment, whether they don't have something already or whether they need some help finding that thing. Um, we can help all those people as long as they have a good credit score. And obviously that gives a good opportunity to say, if you want funding for any business or investment, you could just drop your phone number and your credit score in the chat. And someone on my team who's here in the live will reach out to you and see if it's something that we could help you with. So with so someone's asking with 0% interest funding, is that the life of the entire loan? So actually, no, um, it's only a promotional offer. So we actually go back to here. So 0% interest funding typically refers to a financial arrangement where borrowed money does not accumulate any interest during a specified period, right? So for example, you can get something with 0% interest for 12 months, right? You would only need to repay the principal amount borrowed within that time and no additional interest would occur. This is something that is offered on credit cards for a certain number of months. It's a promotional 0% APR offer. It's promotional to get people, to get new cardholders. Ooh, all right. I got a good, um, I got a good one here. I got a good question in here. So someone's asking, I love my music, right? I, I love music. I love dancing. And um, I play the pen and the guitar and I sing for the most part. Where should I start off in terms of making money? Yeah, this is a great question. I wish I knew this um, years ago because that was like actually what I wanted to be my dream. If you asked me when I was like 10 years old, like 15 years old, when I was a kid, like what I wanted to be when I grow up. And I would tell you, I wanted to be like a DJ and a music producer, like a dance artist, like who made dance music. So, um, so there's a lot of ways, right? How do I make money as a musician? Live performances, digital presence, merchandise, online presence, teaching, session work, licensing, music production, networking. How do I sell myself for live performances? You know, another one I can mention is how, where can I sell my stems of my recordings? Right. I mean, there's tons of different ways. I think a big skill for musicians that a lot of us did not necessarily have when we thought about the business part. When you think about business, like one of the number one skills that you need in business is sales and communication and marketing, of course, and, you know, the product itself. But having really good communication skills and knowing where to go network with people and outreach to people, knowing how to go book your own shows and doing your own sales is a huge part to monetizing your music is being able to go out there and communicate and do sales, right? Like what should I, what skills, what business skills should I have if I want to be a full-time musician? Marketing and promotion, financial management, self-promotion, contract management, communication skills. I think communication skills come in way too late because really you're going to get what you want through people. Like, you know, um, so things of that nature. 
we have a lot of things coming in. So for someone who has no credit history and no debts at all, that may be really tough. Like first, you're going to need to get your first couple of credit cards. If you are someone who needs to get like your first couple of credit cards, I have a um, something on my Instagram page um, right here. If you go to my Instagram page, Andrew and Bessie, and um, you click on one of the links in bio in my lending tree, um, I have a free personal credit blueprint course, and it'll teach you how to get your first couple of credit cards, just like such as just to keep it short, just like a Discover card. You go get like a Discover card. That's a really good first card that you can get for yourself. How much business credit card is too much? Well, that's a good question. I mean. You could all, in my opinion, you could always use more business credit card, but everyone kind of has their own threshold in which they feel comfortable investing in. Ooh, so someone's asking, um, <laughs> someone, I, I answered a little bit about my story and what I like doing every day. And someone said, wow, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, of course it is fun. I mean, you know, you take risks, make moves. I have, um, I used to have this, like, let me go get it for you guys. Let me go get it for you guys. Hold on. Check this out. There was actually, there was actually like one of my first clients got this for me when I started doing funding. One of my first clients got me this and it couldn't be any more true. It's not hung up, but it says take risks, make moves. It's an Amex black. It's like a little Amex black card. So, I mean, take risks, make moves, guys. Like life is too short not to do the things that you all want to do. I mean, dang, like I always look forward to Tuesday night because it's like seven o'clock and I get to talk to other people who are interested in business just like me. And um, I've only been able to cultivate this because I was able to take risks and make moves. So you know, um, and funding was a very important tool for me to learn how to grow and scale a business. So um, if it weren't for like learning funding, if it weren't for like learning how to get my hands on 0% interest funding and investing in places where, you know, a lot of those things are actually now on chat GBT, if I didn't like learn how to do those things and like kind of piece it together, um, you know, like I wouldn't be here, but 0% interest funding helped me make it possible. Someone's asking, can you give me a high level example of some financial institutions that I work with? So um, ultimately there's, you know, different ways to get in touch with financial institutions. And a lot of it's just simply through communication. I mean, there's a specific strategy for every bank in which you could extract the most amount of cash from it. And once you start, you know, working with the banks long enough, you start talking to the higher level people, which um, we are actually connected with many of the, we've actually connected with some people and have made them the highest level people in the bank because of the amount of volume that we send them. Um, last year, we got over like $30 million um, with a bank. And I'm going to save which bank that is because I'm going to upload that YouTube video in maybe like two weeks or so. Um, but we have maybe like a week, actually, we should upload it very soon. But um, like last year alone, we got over $50 million um, combined from like all the banks that we're working with. It might even be over like 60 or $70 million. So someone said, if I get funded for $100,000 for 0%, does it mean I don't have to pay for a full year? So you do still have to pay a minimum payment. Um, you still have to pay one to 2% of the balance that you owe, um, depending on how much of the credit card you charge. So let me let me actually type this in here. How do I repay a 0% interest credit card? Okay, what is often the minimum payment? Do I have to pay the whole limit or just the balance 
I use. So the minimum payment on a credit card is typically a small percentage of the outstanding balance. And it's the lowest amount you could pay to ultimately maintain the 0% terms, right? Um, and so the often minimum payment structure is usually between one and 3%. So if you have a balance of 1,000 and a minimum payment is 2%, you would at least need to pay 20% to hold on to that 0% interest. Oh, this is awesome. So someone that I'm determined to prove my worth. If I can receive help, loan or investment from someone who wants to succeed with me, I will expect to share my success if I can receive help. That's awesome. Yeah. And if, you know, someone's looking for help accessing 0% interest funding for any business or investment that they want, they could just drop their phone number and credit score in the chat. So people are saying, yeah, no, 0% is only for a limited time. Someone said that they needed some 0% interest funding. They have an 801 credit score, but I maybe not yet. I don't see the phone number. So just have to drop your phone number in the chat. That way we could reach out to you. So someone's asking, do you have already some, you know, passive opportunities for someone to invest into? So yes, we definitely know of many things that are already working for other people that we could just simply make the intro to you for. I, I can't personally guarantee for the opportunity that's going to work because that's out of my control, but I can show you like some things that are already working for other people inside our group, even like one of my, um, um, associates, um, Paul, he's actually doing this one hedge fund manager opportunity, like some he hedge fund manager is managing his capital. Um, and over the past couple of months, he's over, he's up over like 30 or 40% on his account. It is really awesome. And he was able to fund the account using credit cards. So he has like, I think he only, I think to start, he only put like 10 or $20,000 in. So He's still up like 30% on that, which is still really sweet. That's like three to six grand. Um, but you could obviously do that at a much bigger scale. Like I know people who've put like over $100,000 in and they made like $30,000 in a single month with the same guy. <laughs> I'm starting to get to the, the chat comments where you guys said, take risks, make moves. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, someone, yeah, one a client literally got that for me and shipped it to me. It is really cool. So this is a good question. So, so people are kind of asking about our funding program. So once we get funding, are we basically on our own? Um, we are not stock with you to invest money with you. You'll only recommend where we go. So let me kind of break down all the different ways that it could work because at the end of the day, like I'm not like a financial advisor. Um, like I could show you things that are working for me. And sometimes though, it's going to be up to you to make it work. Like um, I actually just found what I believe, but you know, I haven't fully experienced it yet. Now I know a bunch of people who do similar things, but I found like the one that's for me. So I found like an e-commerce um coach who is completely undercharging right now and <laughs> and is offering like one-on-one -on -one. and um i'm very confident in actually to even bring it up and um you know obviously i'm going to go through it see how it goes for me but it does require work on my end but that is what i want i don't want something completely passive where i'm left in the dark and i don't know how it works i want something where i'm going to learn that's just me but I know other people who, you know, I point them toward things that are working for other people already. Inside of our funding program, during our office hour sessions, 
Um, we do talk about ways to go and find things on your own if you don't want to use the list. Um, we show you how we found things. We vet opportunities during the office hours. If you bring something to the table, we'll talk about it. Um, additionally, if you really want help with uh, like a like a business plan or an investing plan, um, we actually have an opportunity for people to come out to a boat for an entire weekend. It's actually my boat. I have a yacht. And we spend two full days on the yacht, just going over like business plans, investing plans for people so that we could really just dive into like, okay, this is what you got. This is like your product. This is your investment. Okay. How do we make this profitable? So that way you're making double, triple, quadruple the amount of money you're making right now in the next few months. And so we just had like even one person, they didn't know really where they wanted to go. They didn't really know what they wanted to do. They had an idea to do this. They had an idea to do that. And then we eventually narrowed it down to something that she was already doing. And now she has like a full blown plan over the next three months to be making way more than $10,000, $20,000 a month. She's got a lot of things to work on, but we outlined the plan to help her actually go out there and succeed with it. So we, I mean, Look, I, I don't really have control of what anyone does once they get the funding, but you know, with my own given skills and expertise in business, I always try to help everyone um, as best as I can. Um, we can help people in the virtual setting. I find it really, really valuable and beneficial just to meet in person and do that during the Yacht Mastermind on a weekend, spend two full days, especially if you're really serious about completely changing your income situation. Um, we could really help pretty much anyone who's willing. So someone's asking, if I have about $30,000 of credit card debt, um, can I can I still get 0% interest funding? Yes. Like we can help you with a bridge loan with like our private lender partner, um, someone who will literally take money out of his own pocket and hand it to you. So that way you could pay down your credit card debt temporarily. It'll shoot back up. And then you apply for all the cards and then you have to pay the guy back. If your credit isn't that good, but the business venture is promising, does that increase your chance of getting a private loan? Unfortunately, it would not. How long will it take to pay off $100,000? You could pay it off as fast or as slow as you want. Um, that's more of a question for yourself. Like how fast can you pay off $100,000 depending on the business opportunity or the investment that you choose, right? Now, if you're just trying to simply invest your money, now you're playing with the risks of just simply investing and not having cause or control over how the investment goes. If maybe you start a business, and you're very skillful, you know, you should be able to make profit pretty easily. If you're developing skills, it may take some time to make your money back. So it depends on what you use the money for to, you know, how long it takes to pay something off. Cool. So there, I have a couple of people who are just saying, okay, we have, oh, and this is perfect, actually. It's so cool. So you have three businesses, a flower shop, a construction remodel repair, and a home cleaning business. How do we get 0% interest funding um, to help us have capital to operate with and grow and expand when it's struggling um, when you don't have the money? So how do you get 0% interest funding? So we have like a full blown program for that. You know, it does depend on like your personal credit score being good. Um, there's no other way really around it. Um, I've asked so many relationship managers and all of them have said the same thing. And you just want to put together a plan that, you know, really just hits, you know, the best banks with the best strategies to the best strategy for each bank in order to apply. Now, my company does create these custom funding plans for people. If you're someone who's interested in getting funding for any business or investment, just simply drop your phone number in the chat along with your credit score. And someone on my team could reach out to help you with getting 0% interest funding. What's the best place to get one's credit score? You could do Experian, you could do MyFICO, you could do Credit Karma. The best are probably going to be MyFICO and Experian. MyFICO does cost money though.
So if someone's asking, do I need a corp or an LLC to get 0% interest funding? No, not exactly. Um, you just simply need a, um, what's it called? Um, you, you actually, you could get 0% interest personal credit cards and you could also get 0% interest business credit cards. There's a lot of incentives to having a business, especially with tax deductions. And um, if you do need help creating an LLC before you get 0% interest funding, that is something that my team does help people with. So I'm trying to go through all the questions here. Cool. So someone said that their FICO is uh, 740. Yeah, for someone who has like a 740 credit score, they're going to do very well with um, getting approved for funding. Do you assist in business credit stacking? Yes, that's exactly um, what we do. What qualifications are for our bridge loan partner? So, and I see like a lot, a lot of people like messaging, you know, one thing I am going to do as well, that way we could continue our conversation after this zoom and I'll do my best to reply to like everyone. Um, let's see. Um, all right, cool. This is what I'm going to do. What you guys could do is just simply text this number and text your name as well with your questions. And um, yeah, I'm going to do that just so that way, if, if I can't answer everyone's questions, we could at least continue the conversation off the Zoom call. So you could text this number. Cool. So if you have an LLC and want to apply for business funding, does it use your personal credit? Yes. That's the only way to get approved for it. Someone has a 728. Yes, we could definitely help you get 0% interest funding. All you got to do is just drop your phone number inside the chat and we can help you out. Six eighty score, it may be something that we can help with, but we could have a for someone who asked six eighty score, we could you know talk through things on a call or through text. You could text this number, um, or you could um, simply um, drop your phone number. We could reach out to you too. At the end of the zero percent term, do you need to pay the whole amount? No, you do not. But if you do not pay the whole amount by the end of the term, then you're going to start incurring interest on the amount that you owe, like the annual percentage rate. Someone said, can we get funding through you? Yes, that's uh, that's the main business that I have. Um, all you got to do is drop your phone number in the chat and only my team sees it. Only myself and my team sees it. It's not going to go out to everyone. Someone's asking the annual percent percentage rate is, um, what is an annual percentage rate? So an annual percentage rate is basically like the amount of interest that you're paying on a card. So the annual percentage rate is like, you know, every year you're going to 
going to be charged as interest. So if you have $10,000 that you never pay, you're going to get charged 18% on it over the course of a year, which is like 1800 bucks. Let's see. What would your annual percentage rate be for $100,000? Well, it just depends, right? It depends on what the percentage rate is for each um, option that you're approved for, right? Some cards may give you like 25%. Some may only give you 15%. So, but if you're taking advantage of 0% interest um, funding, right? You're getting a promotional offer of 0% interest for the first 12 months. And you only have to make the minimum payment to maintain that 0% interest period. So, so, so we're getting a couple more questions and guys, if you have extra questions, um, cause I'll answer a couple more, more questions now, but I know that I don't think I'm going to be able to cover all of the questions. Um, if you have more questions, just simply text this phone number right here um, with your uh, questions. So I want to pay down my credit balances so that I get the best offers for business and personal credit by about 40% utilization. Um, would it be best to get a loan to pay down the balances or use my cash? So. Um, so I definitely wouldn't get a loan because opening a loan before applying for funding may cause some trouble, but you could either use your own cash or, um, my team could connect you to a private lender that we use that will personally take money out of his own pocket and give it to you, um, to pay down your cards, but you'll have to pay them back as soon as you start applying for the funding. And guys, yes, we do host these public masterminds every seven every Tuesday at seven o'clock. Um, and then for people who are, I got one last um, business question. Um, could we use our home equity? Say we owe one thirty on it, and it's worth five twenty. Now we could use that. It doesn't matter. So. Yeah, anyone can use a home equity line of credit. I typically don't like using a home equity line of credit just because you're putting your home up as collateral. And there's other unsecured options, such as 0% interest credit. Yeah, someone said kind of risky, yeah. So, um, but I think business and investing is ultimately an idea in which you need to have confidence in yourself and trust in yourself and also discover the right skills and expertise to... Um, you know, do well. Someone said, will I get to chat after the mastermind? Yes. You should have already got, if I saw that you dropped your number a little earlier, you should have already gotten a text. If you have not already gotten a text, text this number that you see on the screen, um, text this number that you see on the screen and we can chat after the, uh, the mastermind to get things going. So someone said, good advice. You are a very smart man. So wait a minute. Someone said text to what phone number? Hold on. Let me see something. I hope I didn't share the wrong screen the whole time. Yeah, there we go. Cool. This phone number. Cool. So So all right, guys, yeah, so I'm just giving like an extra minute or so in case um, you know, if anyone wants to continue asking questions or continue the conversation off of the Zoom, we can. Um text this phone number. If you've dropped your number, you should have already gotten a text. Someone said I wrote that phone number down. Sweet. That's awesome.
but all right. But cool, guys. So I'm looking forward to the next one next Tuesday. I'm not sure which um, um, topic we'll cover next time, but we'll cover up something, cover something really solid. Um, but I definitely look forward to the next time I see that. But let me just write down some names really fast. So you guys are already saying enjoyable. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Cool. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Cool. So. Cool. Do you have an affiliate program? Please call me. Yes, we do have an affiliate program. You can make commissions sending us um, funding clients. So if you have anyone who wants to get funding, you do get a commission um, if you send us the deal, which is pretty cool. Cool. All right. Cool. So everyone's saying thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and if you want to send, um, you know, just text this number for all those things. If you want to get set up on like an affiliate program too with us and make some money by sending us, you know, um, like sales or, you know, I like um, sending us clients text this number. That's, that'll be a good way for everyone to get set up, um, all around. So I'll leave this here. I'll leave this up for another like 15, 20 seconds or so. Take a picture of it, send a text to it. 732-936-7993. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. I hope, um, I hope, yes, if anyone's interested, we, I'll, I'll jump in here with my team and we're going to help kind of answer everything. So I will uh, talk to all of you next week. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday night and uh, talk to you again soon.